Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about Golgi apparatus or Golgi bodies. Golgi apparatus were described for the first time by Camillo Golgi. If you observe carefully, the term Golgi of Golgi apparatus comes from the name of this person. So, remember whenever you are writing this term Golgi to use capital letter for this G even if it is in the middle of the sentence. Now, coming to the structure of Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus basically has two important components namely cisterne which I have shown in brown color and vesicles which I have shown in pink colors. Now, what are these cisterne? Cisterne is a network of flattened tubules or sacs. So, if you can observe here, you can see all these are flattened tubules. So, these are cisterne and they are arranged parallel to each other. What about these vesicles? Vesicles are membrane bound bodies which are more or less spherical in shape. So, on the whole, I can say Golgi apparatus consists of vesicles and a network of membrane-bound flattened tubules called cisternae which are arranged approximately parallel to each other in stacks. Let us discuss about the functions of Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus are regarded as the post office of the cell. So, what is the reason behind it? Basically, post office is a place which receives envelopes from different places. And all those envelopes are carefully evaluated for their addresses. And then they are segregated into groups. They are stamped. And finally, they are dispatched or sent to their final location. Likewise, even Golgi apparatus receives certain raw materials. It modifies them. And then it dispatch or send them to their final location. Now let us try to understand this point with the help of this diagram. This is the nucleus. Adjacent to the nucleus we have endoplasmic reticulum both rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And next to it we have our Golgi apparatus. We know that endoplasmic reticulum is the site of synthesis of proteins and lipids. But the proteins and lipids which are made by them, they are non-functional. Or I can say they are raw proteins and raw lipids which cannot work. They are non-functional. So these unfunctional proteins and lipids are packed and sent to the Golgi apparatus. So, Golgi apparatus is receiving raw material which can be a lipid, which can be protein, which can be some other substance and it is going to carefully evaluate these lipids, these proteins and it is going to modify them and change them into functional protein, functional lipid and finally it is going to repack them and transport it or send them to their target location. So, on the whole, we can say Golgi apparatus helps in the transport, modification and packaging of proteins, lipids and other materials. Other than this, they are also involved in converting simple sugars into complex sugars. And they have one more important function that is they help in the formation of lysosomes. Now, what are these lysosomes? Lysosomes are also a cell organelle and its main function is to keep the cell clean. Now, how it does this, we will be discussing shortly. Do like, subscribe and share this video.